Yeah, tasty food, even in these extreme elements. Nestled in the corner of a parking lot at the intersection of Belvedere and Congress is Hootay's Caribbean Kitchen in a food truck. Before you even walk up, the aroma of jerk chicken, curry goat to oxtail tickles your nose. Hello, how are you? Outside, it's hot. Inside, it's like a sun. It's hot today. I got here, so I got fans. You know, but it's still, especially with all these burners, um, it's like, wow. Harino Bailey works 18 hour days, six days a week. He's constantly moving. He's either taking orders, serving, or tending to meat. Either way, he's building up a sweat. In the summer, uh, change like two thirds a day. Oh, you need sweat. Yeah. Think about this. Pretty much all of July was in a heat advisor. So Bailey and anyone who has a food truck or works outside were dealing with 90 degree temperatures, but it felt like it was in the triple digits. I don't know how you really deal with the heat. I just take it. <laughs> Warren White says it's got to be tough working conditions, but he sure is happy they make the effort. Just like food back home. That's what, that's what made me keep on back here. Bailey says the heat isn't something you necessarily get used to. But since he has such a passion for what he does, it's a labor of love. Sometimes I talk to somebody, and some of them be like, oh, Rick, I appreciate, I appreciate love what you're doing. That kind of gives me even more time to push forward. So greater. In Palm Beach County, Todd Wilson, WPTV, News Channel 5. A new boost in the fight against...